Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandler if you guys are new here and I feel like so much has happened since I vlogged last. Between the last vlog that I uploaded and now, it's probably been about two weeks at this point. I haven't really been vlogging just because I've had a really bad sinus infection the past two weeks. You can probably still hear it in my voice. I'm just now finally starting to feel better. I finally got medicine and I feel like I'm on the mend. Another update is that Brendan is officially on the road for his tour for the month. He left this past Sunday and it's currently Wednesday. It's Valentine's Day. So we're sadly spending Valentine's Day apart, but I am doing a little Valentine's Day night with two of my girlfriends. One of them, her boyfriend's also on tour with Brendan. So we're kind of banding together and doing a little Valentine's Day together. And we're actually going out in my neighborhood. So they are about to come over to my apartment and I think we're gonna go to the Canary, which I think I've talked about on here before, but it's one of my favorite spots in Prospect Heights. I just touched up my makeup from work today and put a couple more curls in my hair. I do need to get dressed still. I have an outfit in mind and I'm really excited. We're gonna dress up a little bit just in the spirit of a Valentine's Day. The outfit I have in mind, is it pink or red though? It's all white, so we're dressing up, but we're not being like fully Valentine's Day festive. I do have a red purse I can bring, so I'll bring that. I'm gonna change into that and I will show you what it looks like on. I am officially dressed and ready to go. I love wearing a set out because it just makes getting dressed so much easier. You don't have to mix and match different pieces. You just pick up the top and pick out the bottoms and they just go perfectly together. So I'm wearing the white two-piece set from Zara. Super cute, it has this little midi length skirt with a little slit in the side and then this really pretty um, sweater top with these little ties on the wrist. And then to tie in red for Valentine's Day, I just did my little red bag that I actually thrifted in Syracuse for $1, so I love bringing this out. And then I also put on this black belt just to kind of break up all of the white going on to tie in my black tights and my black kitten heels from Zara. We're wearing a full Zara look tonight. And then I have on these new gold earrings that I just got from Amazon as well. They're kind of a dupe of the Heavy Mayhem earrings that I've been seeing everywhere. I really, really want those, but I'm saving my money. So I didn't get them. I got the dupe on Amazon. And then these two necklaces are also from Amazon as well. So we are gonna head out very shortly and I'm really excited. I cannot wait to get an espresso martini. The Canary makes the best espresso martinis and I have been craving one, so I'm very excited. everyone happy friday i just got out of bed and made myself a matcha i ended up getting home so late last night my work friends and i we all went out for a happy hour my work friends and i can stay out pretty late we got home at like one o'clock i want to say so i'm definitely feeling a little tired this morning but happy to have my matcha i wanted to show you guys i got some new headphones in the mail yesterday I have been wanting to get a pair of wireless over ear headphones for a bit now. I've just been using normal earphones with the cord that come with your iPhone. I just find that the cord keeps getting tangled and stuck like in my coats and in my scarves and things like that. So I wanted to have the option to have a Bluetooth version. So these are the headphones that I got. They're this really pretty pale pink JBL brand. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I feel like they kind of look a little weird like i don't know how i feel about this gonna play around with these and decide if i want to keep them so i was just having my avocado toast and i got a knock on the door this giant package showed up i think it's a pair of boots that i ordered from lulu so we're gonna do another unboxing so here is the lulu's box i clearly got high knee boots Ooh, wow okay here they are wow they're 
stunning. I really wanted to get a high knee boot that had a heel on it. I have a pair that is all flat from Amazon that I wear pretty frequently, but I feel like a heel just elevates the look and makes your legs look longer. And I really liked the crocodile print on these boots. Lulu's doesn't do half sizes, so I went with a size nine. So hopefully that will fit. I'm also realizing that these don't have like a zipper or anything on the side. So they're just a slip on, I guess. So let's try them on. Okay, here are the boots on. I'm holding up my sweatpants so we can see them, but they fit perfectly. They're actually like super comfortable. I love the crocodile pattern on them. I think it just makes them a little bit more unique and more interesting than just a pair of simple black boots. Very, very happy with this purchase. Lately, I've been making little yogurt parfaits to have as a lunch or a late breakfast, and I'm craving one right now, so I'm gonna make it and show you what I put in there. For the base, I'm gonna be using this dairy-free vanilla bean flavored yogurt from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna top it off with blueberries, strawberries. I'm gonna throw a banana in there. My favorite part is adding this granola. This is Trader Joe's peanut butter protein granola. It just adds a really nice sweet touch as a topping. My parents are actually coming to town today. They're gonna to be here in about like an hour and a half, I think. They are bringing down some furniture for me. And a couple of vlogs ago, I got that vanity when I went home and antiqued in Syracuse. And I'm so excited for that to be here. It's gonna go right in this corner over here where that black desk is. We're gonna swap that out for the pink vanity. I think we are gonna get some coffee around my neighborhood and then they wanna go into Greenwich Village and do some shopping, so. Can't say no to that, so I'm gonna take them to some of my favorite stores. My mom and I have very similar um, tastes in clothing, so that'll be fun. Happy Sunday. I haven't really talked to the vlog much since yesterday morning, but it is currently Sunday night. It's a little bit after four o'clock. I had an amazing day with my parents yesterday. They came and they brought so much new furniture and new pieces for our apartment, which you might notice these two pieces of artwork behind me above our bed are new. My parents brought those. I also think I got a couple clips. They added a strip of wallpaper in our kitchen, two new picture frames with similar prints in the kitchen as well. Um, we set up a whole little makeshift bar with my old desk because I now have my new vanity. So we have a little wine rack on top of my old desk in the kitchen. And then we put out like all of our wine glasses on display and things like that. So the apartment always looks so different every time they come and I feel like they just make it feel so cozy. After we finished up with decorating the apartment, we went out and got lunch in my neighborhood and then we actually headed into Manhattan to Greenwich Village. We did some major shopping yesterday. I did get a few things, so I wanted to do a little haul. The first thing is the little loungewear set that I'm wearing right now. It's actually from Muji. Muji is one of my new favorite stores that Brendan actually introduced me to. He wanted to go in one day and it turned out to be amazing, so I have to credit him for that. It's just this really cute light pink loungewear set and the pants are also, <laughs> pants are also the same fleece and they're super comfortable. And then also for Muji, I picked up this pair of dark gray crew socks. 
I think that these will look very cute styled with my ballet flats, my lace-up loafers over tights or something like that just to add a different color. I love wearing ballet flats with socks, but I only have white socks really, so I thought the dark gray could be fun to switch it up. And then the only other place I got something at was H&M. I have been in the market for a black mini skirt because I just got those black high knee boots that I think I showed in the beginning of this vlog. And I have seen so many pictures on Pinterest of those styled with a really cute little black mini skirt, a big sweater over it, tights, and I think that'll tie it all together. So I found this really cute one from H&M. It has a little belt hoop detailing and then little faux pockets. I just really like the shape of it. It fit me really well and it was very flattering. Also from H&M, I got this little blouse, just a black kind of t-shirt material, but then the sleeves are this little puffy kind of more blouse material. And I think this will be super cute. It's full length, it's not cropped or anything. So I can definitely wear this to work with trousers. I can wear it with a skirt. I can wear it with that black mini skirt. I just think this is an elevated basic black tee with the fun sleeves and you can make a lot of fun outfits out of it. That was everything that I bought yesterday and then we came home and we ordered pizza from Crown Heights Pizza which is right in our backyard and we watched two movies on Netflix before going to bed. Sorry that was so much chatting at the end of this vlog. I just realized I could show you guys my little lounge set from Muji in this mirror. It matches the vanity perfectly, it matches my water bottle. Clearly have a thing for pink. Oh.